Okay, so we start chapter 2 with speaking about direction fields. Some people like to say slope fields also. So it is a nice way to analyze a given differential equation qualitatively. So drawing a slope field or a direction field doesn't mean that you're solving a differential equation. But without solving the differential equation, by using slope field, we can learn how the solution sh should behave near some points and what is the shape of the solution curve. And you can visualize all the infinitely many solutions in most of the cases when you deal with differential equations. So let's try to learn how to analyze a given slope field or how to create a slope field for a given differential equation. But before we do that, we need to recall some of the important concepts like tangents or what does derivative gives you. So for example, if you take function y is equal to x square and if you differentiate y with respect to x, we get 2x. Now what does this mean? Well, we know derivative has something to do with slope, right? But the exact precise meaning is that derivative of a function that is differentiable, where that means if you, you, you can take the derivatives of the function on an interval i, then it gives you the slopes of the tangent lines to the graph. Now, if you look at this derivative 2x, 2x is a line, right? y is equal to 2x is a line. So that is the tangent line. Now, what is the tangent line mean? So let's say you have a curve. Tangent line just comes with a point. So you have to have a point if you talk, uh, talk about tangent lines. So tangent line means given at a point, the line that only touch the curve at that specific point. So what derivative gives you is for this curve at a certain point, at a given point, it gives you the slope of the tangent line. Now again, what is the slope? Well, the slope is recall that it is the angle, the tangent value of the angle that the line creates with the positive x-axis. So the slope is actually tangent value of the angle alpha. It's not just the angle, it's the tangent value of the angle. Okay, so what really derivative gives you is the tangent value of the tangent line, the angle that creates the tangent line with the positive x-axis. So that's just a recall. Now, how does it supposed to help us? Well, let's learn it by an example, okay? So we have this differential equation, let's say dy over dx is equal to 2x. Okay, now this is supposed to be, 2x supposed to give you slopes of the tangent lines at given x points, right? But this is just a generalization. So we can make a table, okay? And we can calculate the slopes of the distangent line of some unknown curve at some point. So let's take points as 0, 0. So when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0, we know the slope of the tangent line is 2x. So if you substitute the point, to 2x, well, you only have x, so you just substitute 0, then you get the slope to be 0. So at, at point 0, 0, your slope is 0 means, 0 slope means it's a flat line. So the tangent line at 0, 0 is a flat horizontal line. So at point 1, 1, so it's like point here, if you substitute 1, 1 to 2x, 2 times 1 is 2, so the tangent uh, value of the angle, so tangent alpha is 2. So that means the angle is around 60 degrees. So you can use calculate, okay? So, but I did that fast. So the alpha value that gives you tangent 2 is like 60 degrees. So 60 degree tangent line would be something like that. When if you substitute to 2 point, for example, here, you get tangent alpha to be 4, the slope is 4, so the angle will be like 70 degrees. So the tangent line would be like this. So if you use this table and draw, you know, this tangent line, what does it give? So these are the tangent lines, and it gives you a shape of a parabola, just like this. What is this parabola? It seems to be like y is equal to x squared. That's just a guess. And notice, so we started with the differential equation dy 
is equal to 2x and we when we draw the tangents lines using these two x and points the curve that has the shape looks similar to y is equal to x square now what is the connection between y is equal to x square and the dy over dx is equal to 2x the connection is in fact y is equal to x square is one of the solutions to the differential equation in fact the infinitely many solutions are represented by x square plus c c is a constant so when c is equal to zero you get that one solution by just plotting those tangent values for some certain so those tangent lines for some certain points so that is what exactly a slope field does so a slope field is here i only took how many points one two three four five only took five points to create these tangent lines but how about if i use all the points in this x y planes then you get a picture that is filled up with tangent lines right so in that picture you can find the infinitely many solutions different different solutions that goes through certain given points so that is what a slope field means so there's a direct connection between slope fields and the differential equations in most of the cases it helps you to identify the shape of the solution just like here we looked that it was a parabola and we guessed it's y is equal to x square that was just a guess normally you will be not able to write down the written formula of the solution by just looking at the slope field it is just i knew it was y is equal to x square that is why i wrote down y is equal to x square but at least you get to see how does the solution look like how does it behave okay let's quickly look at another example so we have dy over dx is equal to negative x over y so let's take some points so 1 0 when x is equal to 1 y is equal to 0 so negative 1 over 0 you can't divide by 0 so the slope is undefined so tangent alpha is undefined so the angle value that makes tangent undefined is actually the angle of 90 degrees okay which is something you should know tangent of 90 is undefined so at one one zero point is like here so here the tangent like will be vertical angle of 90 degree okay so then at one one points negative one over one is negative one so tangent alpha is negative one when you have negative 45 degrees okay so that is i just recall from the unit circle okay you don't draw slope fields by hand okay so this is just i'm trying to explain what's going on with the slope field. so you would never do what i do okay you would never find angles and draw it like this but it would be like this at one point one one you have a negative 45 degree angle so just like if you use these points and you calculate this tangent alpha values and if you identify the angle alpha values using a calculator maybe then you can get all the tangent values tangent or lines tangents line in the xy plane and you can see the shape by looking at the shape of the tangent lines you can see they look like circles so solutions for the differential equation that was given above looks like have circles so the solutions for this differential equation should look like circles so that is one idea that we got from by looking at the slope field but usually we generate these slope fields using um computer matlab mathematica is the most prefer preferable way you can find online uh, websites that create slope fields for you it's not it's not something that we draw by hand okay we don't sketch them by hand but this is just an explanation but yeah, see you in the next video for more analyzing. Thank you.